introducing the strawberry white chocolate ice cream sandwiches. Spring has sprung, so let's bring these ice cream sandwiches straight to our homes from my kitchen to yours. We're gonna start off by making those delicious strawberry white chocolate cakes that will be holding the ice cream together. Sure, when you measure out the flour, you are using the back of a knife to scrape the top off so it layers completely perfectly with a measuring spoon. To the flour, you're going to add your baking powder, baking soda, and a pinch of salt. Now I'm showing you how I do it at home. It gets messy. Whisk that together. Next up, let's measure out the sugar. We are using both white and brown the brown will give you that beautiful caramelized flavor. You're also going to measure out your butter, which you will be melting and using for the next step. Let's chop up those beautiful strawberries. You want to dice them nice and small as I'm doing so here. Lastly, you will measure out your white chocolate chips. Not visible here, but it is best practice to measure out all your ingredients first, just so we can do everything in step by step. And you don't have to measure out every single ingredient in separate bowls, that's just way too much. What you're gonna use together, you're gonna put in the same bowl, which will just make it easier for cleaning purposes, right? So let's throw that butter straight into the white and brown sugar mix and we're going to whisk that together until it's combined. Crack in a couple of eggs and whisk together until combined. Pour the wet mixture straight into the dry ingredients. And using a wooden spoon, let's mix this all together thoroughly. We're going to add those delicious strawberries as well as the white chocolate chips. Now fold together. When I say fold, it is a method that you're going under and over. This ensures that anything under is obviously coming around and getting mixed. We're going to saran wrap this and put it in the fridge for about an hour. Now let's reveal. Now we're gonna use a ice cream scooper to get the perfect amount for every single 
cake that we're baking. When you take it out of the fridge, make sure you leave it out for about 20 to 30 minutes, just so it can be more malleable when you're scooping it. Now let's roll them up and flatten them just a bit and put them on the baking sheet about two inches apart. Let's pop these in the oven at 350 for about 12 minutes. Now using your favorite vanilla ice cream, let's begin to assemble these bad boys. A couple of scoops for each sandwich and we're gonna use the back of the ice cream scoop to spread it out just so it gets more of an even coverage. Just perfecting the sandwich. Now you can go ahead and eat these right off the back or you can saran wrap them and they will be just as good. That is all my friends. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you. I hope I'm doing the best I can teaching you how to bake at home. I hope you enjoy these. Let me know in the comments what you think. See you in the next one.